So we're back out here at the farm. We're going to do a little bit of exploring, but today we have Adam and he's never seen the farm before. You can also look around. It looks a little bit different. Dad's actually been out here working on the road. I'll be up here all week getting the road cleaned out. He's going to take the excavator and get the big trees out of the road and clean the ditch out. We'll give you all a little quick glance right here. This used to be a tiny little road with like trees poking out all over. Now he's came through, cleared it out. He's worked on the ditch over there. That way we don't have any drainage problems. He's cleared out this right here. So long story short, this place is starting to look really good and we're starting to get a lot of access. I think we're going to have uh, big plans here. I do too. Lots I, of big deer. I think this is going to be a very long-term project, but that's going to be the coolest part. We're going to get to watch this property literally transform into not only just a giant wilderness, but into a giant wilderness that we manage to be the best it can be. We're putting a big pond on this thing, like massive. I don't know how we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, we can do it. No turtles in that pond though, please. Let's go check this first trail camera, which is literally right over there. And then, uh, then we'll explore the rest. And we got this big salt block. We're just going to dump it out. It's probably the wrong time of year for it, but they'll be all right. There it is. There's the camera. But uh, one cool thing we're gonna do, as we check the cameras and find new animals, we're gonna be doing a list. And like, I'm, I'm literally putting a Google Drive link in the description so that they can get on there and see all the trail camera pictures we do. Go ahead and open up that camera and pull out the SD card. Ain't there, that crazy? Yeah. It holds that, holds that much stuff and something the size of my pinky. We're recording. What is that? Cody. That's a that's just a random dog. That's but that is a coyote. We're adding it to our list. We just got another coyote. We're literally going to take this picture and put it in New Pharma right there. And we're going to upload this to drive as soon as we get done so you guys can see it. There's a deer. Little baby spot. That's our first buck. This looks like a different deer though because doesn't it look like it has one antler? I don't know. We'll see. There's three. That's actually good. That's a population right there. There's a nighttime. Oh, snap. There's an excavator. That's my dad. We'll be fine. That's, That's a, a buck. Deer, yeah. That was a bigger buck. Here's some nighttime pictures. There's another coyote. So we definitely have a coyote. We have two on the list so far. Well, dang. Mm. We got a whole herd right here. And those are young ones, too. That's good. What is That's that? a deer. That's a deer sniffing at the camera. Oh. And there's a deer, there's a deer, there's a deer. That's a good sized doe right there. That deer got close. And then there's us right here right now. So, 40 pictures, not bad. That's not terrible. Oh, but we bro. did get a coyote. No. And we are definitely adding hey, that you know, to our list. Same coyote. Well, we, we really don't. Could be two coyotes. It could be two. It could be three. Mm -hmm. Actually, it can't. Why? Because there's only two pictures. Yeah, that's true. Can't be three. You got us there. My dad has actually cleared us out a trail right up through there. And it goes a pretty good way up in the mountains. So. This is a good looking trail. He must have worked a lot. This took him like, this one trail took dad like days. Now we have a trail that we can use for years. Hey, we may see some deer. There they are, there they are. There's deer right there, literally. Hello there, little deer. Hello there, Sharon. And Karen. It's right off the road. That's a good day right there to have in season. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm personally probably not gonna kill those. But it's open season for this guy. I ain't never killed one. It's time that I get the country boys back. It's about time. But this is the good part. You got a colorful flat land you got here? Yeah. Sheesh! Bussin' bussin'. Our next trail camera is right over there, right on that tree. I don't see it. You don't see it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Go ahead and turn it off and bring us a memory card and we'll start looking. Looks like we're about to tell a scary story. Which we might. Depends on what we see. What we'll see, big Okay. All right, we're recording. Here we go. Um, that's me. That's whenever I put the camera out here. So let's go ahead and let's just look at them. Ooh. Hot dog in the morning time. That's a good one. There's another one right there too. I drove off 1138 and they walked out at 1143. He's right here. Walking. He was right there. There's another mom and a doe. There's that big buck again. But we can't get enough information to really identify. It looks like he has a pretty good one side, but it looks like he might be a one-sided deer. Oh, look at that. It's a hawk. That's not a picture you get every day. Mm -hmm. We've already added hawk and coyote to our list and stray dog. It looks like a little skeleton looking thing. That's a vulture there. It's a turkey vulture. I don't know what he was eating, but hey, we'll put him on the list. <laughs> then there's Adam. We'll put him on the list too. We're going to trim down that tree and we're actually going to set out this salt block. We're going to cut off all these things which are catching wind and making the tree shake. This should uh, stop the tree from shaking so much. The wind can't catch it now. Did yep. I get that? There went the trail camera. I can fix it. <laughs> Maybe. 
It never even happened. Now let's set up the salt block. Now, I, I don't know how effective this salt block's gonna be, but I had an old one sitting around, so might as well set something out here so that the deer can be watching it and stuff. There we go. They can lick it, do whatever they want to. We may have just added an animal to the animal list. Look what I just found. Um, hello. Y'all see what I'm seeing? That's 100% evidence of a bear. We got a stinking bear and it walked right through here. There's another one of his tracks. We still got a bear. We have a bear and that looks like a pretty big one. Oh my gosh. Dude, there's no way. Mmm. Mmm. How'd you spot that? I was just walking through here and I look over and there's a stinking bear print. Must be a big fat one. It sunk its foot in there pretty deep. Didn't I know. It? That's just a small big. print. There was one bigger. Anyways, it is the next day from when I was hunting, guys. Guess what? I didn't see anything. No big deal. The only evidence of bear that we have so far is just that thing. So today we're going to attempt to change that. <laughs> We went to Walmart earlier today, and we spent $950 at Walmart. Thanks to these things and a gun, and that's a different video. But we got three new trail cameras, and they're actually Tacticam Reveal. The special thing about these, though, is that they're cell cameras, so as soon as it gets a picture, it sends it directly to my phone and gives me a notification. We're hoping to get a bear. If there's a bear in the area, we can't hunt it over bait, but we're not trying to hunt it right now. We just want a selfie of the bear and so we're just going to dump out this whole 50 pounds of corn dump out this entire thing of vanilla extract whatever and we're just hopefully going to call him in we just want one picture bear corner is back in there we've never been there ever all right guys this is currently where we are inside of a bush and we're just going to keep going slowly but surely in low gear four wheel drive until we can't go any further or we find somewhere we want to be. This is exploring. Hold up, there's an open spot over there. Oh, yeah, oh heck yeah, there's an open spot over here. See, we ain't never been here. Yeah. This may be about as far as we can go with the Defender though. Let's hop out. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure this out one way or another. Hold up, and look at that. Ouch. You stuck? Already. Look right there. We've done got a deer trail. Going right up through there. Well used too. Let's figure out our way right over here. I'll clear us out a path. Yeah, hey, we're getting somewhere. Pretty sharp. Something on me. Adam, we're being attacked. If you see it, hit it. I don't see nothing. Oh! What was that? I think he just got me. To have this random flat open spot in here in the middle of the woods. Don't know where this even came from or why it's here, but if you cleared that out, cleared this out, you could have a dandy little food plot right here and it'd be hidden from the field and everything. I think this is where we put the corn. I saw deer poop over there, so we're in good shape. This is a good spot no matter what. Sweet. I will set this camera right over here. Stupid thing. Right here looks like a good spot. All animals are welcome all kinds except gnats they're not <laughs> and then here's the good stuff here's the stuff right here this is solely for attracting you ready for this that's a dollar and 44 cents worth of imitation vanilla extract smells good it does smell good <laughs> hopefully big barrel thinks so too that's our goal since last video, I have bought some new accessories for obvious reasons. The first thing I got is two uh, tree straps or something. I don't really know what these are called, but it's like a rope that you wrap around a tree. Then I got some of these things. These things are massive and I don't exactly know how to use them yet. Next, I got a 20,000 pound rope. And then I bought this soft shackle with this thing which could be a pulley on it if I need to. If I had this last video, it would have made my life a lot easier. And then last but definitely not least, I bought a compartment for the Defender. When you look at the Defender, you have this box built in, but it can only hold so much stuff. So under this seat, I actually bought this one 
so that I can have an extra compartment under this seat at all times. And so now, if I ever get stuck again, I should be able to get out a whole lot easier. Well, here we are again. Um, <clears throat> I'm stuck again. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm pretty good at getting stuck out here. This time, it's a lot worse. This is my current situation. I was on my way home from the farm. Just got done checking around there. And uh, I'm on a dang flat. And I'm not just on a flat. Like, I'm on a... We have no air at all. We're running on the rim. First, we got to look for the hole, see what we're dealing with. I think I might see something right there. Let me pull it up a little bit so we can get to it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Pretty decent little hole. There it is compared to my thumb. Unfortunately, all the things we unboxed earlier in the video are not exactly the things you need to air up a tire. Like, if I got stuck in a mud hole, I would be good right now. But this isn't a mud hole. This is just a flat tire. I'm like the most least prepared person in the entire world. We have the ropes that we unboxed earlier, but none of that's gonna help us with a flat tire. In here, I do have these two plug kits. The problem is that a plug kit can only plug a tire, it can't air it back up. We have some screws in there, a ratchet strap, that, a first aid kit, and a rope. You see, the unfortunate thing about this is that first time I got stuck, I just got mudded down. I just got bogged down in the mud. I needed a winch to get me out. I somehow scrambled and figured it out. Second time I got stuck was in that ditch. I just was, that was just really bad. Like, I just drove in a ditch. I don't really have an excuse for that. But this time, now I'm on a flat tire. And once again, I don't have a way to fix at it. At this point, I'm kind of starting to think like, what else could go wrong? Because at this point, it'll probably be in episode four. Fourth day exploring the farm. And I'm stuck again. This one doesn't have enough power anyway. So far, the tire is, it's up. We're gonna take it as far to home as possible. And if it goes flat again, I guess it, I guess it goes flat again. We'll try to figure something else out. 